What's up? I'm Slink Johnson, and today on Is It True, we're going to find out if hypnotism is real. And we are going to attempt to find out what I was in a past life. Is hypnotism real? Yes, because I've seen white people be hypnotized. And anything I've seen happen to white people, I believe. I've hypnotized a couple of ladies. I have saw someone get the Holy Ghost in church. Um, I saw my cousin get hypnotized by crack cocaine, and he's still under hypnosis, and I wish he'd stop. I'm finna go under the spirit of hypnosis and see if I get hypnotized. I don't really feel like it's true. I feel like it's a whole bunch of hoogly googly. I do kind of think that stereotype only the weak can be hypnotized is true because I just feel like if you have like a really strong will and like a strong mind, there's no way someone else can control it, you know, unless you're intoxicated or really horny. Then a guy can control me completely. You know, I want to say right off the bat that it is a, a myth that I can control someone's mind and get them to do things they wouldn't normally do. That isn't what hypnotherapy is about. Hypnotism is a deep state of relaxation. The soul is eternal, and if you're in that other space where the soul is, you're gonna wanna come into this soap opera called The Third Dimension and play different parts each time. And that's why the soul returns, to have fun. So, uh, Kamira, just close your eyes and relax. First, what I'm gonna start with is get them to a deep state of relaxation through what's called an induction. When you see the door labeled past lives, just stand in front of that room. And in a moment, I'm gonna have you open the door and step inside and you'll automatically be in a past life. One, two, three. You're now in a past life. So describe what you see, your first impression. Slink, what's the first thing you see? I went to sleep. In your mind's eye, notice your feet. So what do you see, Kate? I see a fat, chubby, black guy. <laughs> I think I'm a farm head, because I see a white guy. What does he look like? Looking like he's telling me to get back to work. I'm covered in feces. I must have slipped into some pig shit. I gotta clean myself off. It really stinks. The pigs are coming over. But are you happy? No, you're covered in shit. White guy still yelling at me. No picture. I'm clean it up! He's bugging me. Was there anyone at home? My wife. And what does she look like? She's white. Pretty as it. I see a bunch of junk on the floor and I see a husband. And what does the husband look like? He fine. He fine. He look like he's in the army. So follow the road. Where are you going to? The factory. See what they're making. What are they doing in the factory? Food. I want a sugar sandwich. I've never had sugar bread, so you need to explain it to me. Sugar sandwich. Just put some bread sugar in between two pieces of bread. Squeeze it tight and eat it. That's poor people shit. And I'm walking to my bedroom, and I can see Tom in my bed. And does Tom have his pajamas on? No, he don't have on no shirt. What about his pajama bottoms? I'm about to see. OK, so is Tom trying to? Yes, we're about to do it. Do you have a girlfriend? I'm all alone. You're all alone? OK, and do you have any kind of a sexual life? I get it in. I'm sorry, what? I get it in. OK. Picture and imagine that you're back in the hallway, you're out of your past life room. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> that was way out. That stressed me out. I don't think I, I don't like it. I felt very out of control. She got me. She got me. Started going some places. Was I able to be hypnotized? Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure I was because if I wasn't, I would have picked like a way cooler, like past. <laughs> I was an older black man with a young white wife and I think it was when uh, racism existed. I was drinking milk, which is crazy because I'm lactose now. I don't really think I was able to be hypnotized as much as I was able to be brought back to a time in my own life. What I believe
Abe I saw was my great grandmother's house. I always thought hypnosis was where someone tells you what to do and you do it. Like they could hypnotize you to like stab somebody and you'd be like down. I don't think that would work, but I mean, it's definitely a way I think to like open your brain to find things that you didn't know were there, for sure. Do I think that the myth holds true that only the weak can be uh, hypnotized? Not at all, because I'm not a weak mental person, so I have been proven wrong, apparently. And I feel like I just had a really, really big nap. That's weird. I know hypnotism is better than night hall because you can get your Z's. Hypnotism is very real because hypnotists get some big checks to do that stuff. So if you're getting paid, it must be real. Thank you for watching. Is it true hypnotism is real? It was a dope experience. Hop in the comments, subscribe, share the video. And watch All Dev Digital all the time. I'm Slink Johnson, and I need to do a little soul searching because I don't know what just happened. In a past life, I mean, I'd like to be somebody wealthy. Probably like the dog of like slaves. And they'd yell at me from the porch, Rudabelle, come on in, boy. And I'd lick the wounds after Massa hooked the ass. So my mouth was all full of slave Negro blood. And then they put sugar in it. And that's how the Kool-Aid started.